Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. What am I looking at today? Well, it's 3D photo in painting. What on earth is that? Well, it tells you a little bit about it here. Obviously the link is down there in the description as well. But um, 3D photography using context-aware layered depth in painting. Ooh. All right, so we've got some, some images here which sort of give you an idea about what's going on. Um, and a little bit of information about what it's doing. So uh, we propose a method for converting a single RGBD input into a 3D photo, i.e. a multi-layer representation The novel view synthesis that contains hallucinated colour and depth structures in regions occluded in the original view. We use a layered depth image with explicit pixel connectivity as underlying representation and present a learning-based in-painting model that iteratively synthesizes new local color and depth content into the occluded region in a spatial, context-aware manner. Or, to put it another way, the photo, or whatever you've got there, the image um, sort of wiggles around a bit and, and the stuff, stuff moves and it looks cool. So, um, let's have a little look at uh, installing this. Uh, obviously, prerequisites uh, Linux, Anaconda, Python 3.7, and PyTorch 1.4.0. Um, I'm using Ubuntu 20, works absolutely fine. Uh, takes a little bit of time to install the requirements, um, but then, yeah, that's fine. Um, then you can download uh, their models and finally start running it. This is exceptionally easy to use. Basically, all you do is you put an image into the image directory and then run one command. Um, the arguments there is just a YAML file. You can edit uh, the YAML file. It tells you in the documentation there uh, what you need to do um, if you're going to be editing things and doing all sorts of extra stuff. But for today, we're just going to be putting an image in there and running this um, fantastic little command here. So, um, this is the 3D photo in painting directory. I haven't got an image yet, um, so let's just download one. Uh, Unsplash, great place to go and get uh, lots of images, uh, as well as Pixabay and all those other places. Um, I'm just doing a little search for sci-fi here, and um, what sort of thing that? Yeah, that, look, that looks quite good. Uh, that, looks, that looks quite interesting as well. Uh, yeah, should we download this? All right, let's download this. And we'll put this image into that images directory. So there's the image directory. Great. All right, pop that in there. Then basically just run that command. I've already got it in a little shell script there because I'm like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute while I just speed up time slightly. So that's finished rendering a whole bunch of videos there. Now of course you could also do something similar to this uh, in After Effects if you wanted to spend loads and loads of money and spend ages doing it as well. You know, you mask out the entire area, but I think it's ever so much easier just to have a computer do it for you. Now obviously the output is in the video section. I've done a load of other ones here before showing you later but let's just show you this one that we did now and it gives you four different types you've got the swing the circle the zoom in and the dolly zoom in uh, they'll do slightly different things so um, here's the swing whoa whoa that's that's cool isn't it is that cool or is that overwhelmingly cool anyway um because they are so cool i'm going to show you a load now in um Full resolution. So, do enjoy the 3D photos, and here's the little GitHub once again. CDPR 2020 3D photography using context-aware layered depth in painting. Enjoy.
You can't keep it going mm-hmm. Stringing me along Oh yeah Cause I've been tripping over you 